Okay, welcome back. Yesterday, I was out and I made a video. I think I forgot to push the button. So, I'm not wearing these ones today. But, we'll put it on there. Hiking shoes. Put the potatoes away. check my other shoe as to why the tongue don't go in right but oh well oh. doesn't go in right. Maybe when I get back, I'll, uh, hmm, where's my hat? gloves in the event I'm going to do something grab you guys oh Put this up here all right yesterday I went and got some potatoes that's all we got that's a whole roll Shameful what happened this year. Let's see if I can get lucky and dump them all at the same time. Can't find the big broom over there. did such a good job at uh, cleaning the floor in here. I may as well continue and help them out. There we go. There. Oh, more over here. So he says that the
let's take the, where's that gun? Here it is. Let's put the game camera up today too. Alright. That's one, two, and he lost one already. Oh, for freak's sakes, Nick. Hmm. Oh, there it is. All right, let me hook, hook this up here so we don't lose it. This one. in it. Okay. Hang on. I'm getting ducked out here. I'm still waiting for uh, a Gila Fleur pen from the Montreal Canadiens that hasn't arrived in the last time, last several times actually. I've had to give them all hell about, about not sending stuff. Come on there, baby.
Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Don't fall off. Game camera right here. I'm gonna go put that up. Once we throw these in there. Your legs. We'll take that out of my shorts there. Beautiful out. Actually, all right. That's a pretty good load right now. Right there.
living on a needle with spit. So. Okay. Okay. Senor. Okay, we got it. That's done. <laughs> so, where it's pointing is out here. I'm just going to see if uh, over the next week. Deer come along the edge there.
Don't know what that was about. Okay. Whew. Explanation for Alan here. Yeah. This wood is mostly comprised of poplar, which I cut down there, way down that way. And its whole purpose is not firewood for the fireplace, for the, but it's for the fire pit. And it's just 95% uh, probably those old poplar. And maybe a couple of little bits of uh, Lombardi in there. I'm not really sure. But I've cut all the Lombardi down on this side. We got a half a dozen up. Way up over there. And there's another one or two. You know that big bald guy off in the distance there? That got to come down too. A couple of years ago, we, uh, Down, uh, or one blew off, it, it died and rotted at the 
somewhere close near the bottom. It fell over and I got uh, my neighbor to give me a hand and we pulled it out of the way. And uh, we just pushed it up into the woods just to get rid of it. But I will not burn the wood that got to go in the house. That's for sure. We got more than six cords in the house. We got over a cord in the garage, and that woodshed holds six cords. And it's almost full. Five and three quarters and some, maybe. Ah! There used to be the uh, Lover's Lane sign, and then one day it just fell down, so I don't know what happened there. And I need to get my son out here with the pole pruner. There's a one branch right there that's busted. Anyway, let's go. Get some more wood. One more load. You're not going to come out with a running machine.
freaking dense. It's heavy. Okay. Oh. I think that's all there's left. I think. Okay, let's go. Silence is golden, they say. They? Who are they? They are they. Okay. Let's pull her up one more time. That's the end of that. Oh.
looks like the bottom of a plastic bowl. Anyway, that thing there means that if somebody comes in this property, they have to come and ask me if they can if we allow them to hunt here. And of course, we don't allow anybody. I just wanted to come down here and sur survey this big Jesus tree and wonder how we're going to get it down without killing myself in the meantime. And there's some more chunks of it there. That's all. Sp this is the wood, Alan, that I use in the old fire bit. Oh, the old fire uh, uh, woodshed. And I just cut up as much as I can carry. I'd like to be able to go down here. Probably can now. Just throw a few branches out of the way. And mow it up. I don't feel like it today. And if I don't do it today, the snow will come the next day. And I won't be able to get back down here. But I've got a few. There's a couple of trees hung up down here. Plus there's a couple of big branches that I didn't get. That are still here. So I'd like to clean this up so that I can come in here a couple times during the summer and just mow all that, those little sticks that are coming up, which is probably uh, poplar. And some of these trees, like this guy here, he looked like he's had better days. This is some old birch that's dying. So I could take that and put that in the house. You can see it's all dead on the bottom here. There's no bark going around it. But there's, see those guys there, those big guys, those are the poplar trees. They kind of, when they fill up in the canopy out there, not, no light gets down so the other trees will come up. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And then, these here are all red pine. Going way back up there. We call this the soldiers. These are just like a bunch of soldiers on parade, the way they get lined up. Now, we get some massive snows here. When we do. This here is just uh, it's like 10 feet deep. Same thing on the other tree line up on the road. Okay, let's go.
has my deed out here outside for the day. Next. Yes, I get no Jeep, so I can't put the license plate on. It's getting painted. Throw this up there. That's not bad. Throw the old girl's wagon back in. She was oh. Blubbery there last night over me using her cart. And what's going on down here? It's not a good place to get mice, I don't think. This someone's been springing all the traps. All right, what do we got here? There's another one. I gotta get. Actively trapping these buggers. There's the other one. All right. Because. All right. What are we doing now? I think we're gonna call it quits. There's a little more wood. Burn that. These are all the sort piece, short pieces that comes off of the uh, processor, the firewood processor that we buy the wood from. Here, I'm gonna sit down. I, since I go in the house, I gotta work. So, <clears throat> might as well start the day with you. There, let's look at the other bit. There you go. Oh. Sounds like a freaking duck over there. No ducks here. So it's got to be a frog. Four legged. I don't know what kind of oak that is. Burl oak, maybe. But the other oaks that are over there don't have any leaves on them. And this oak here has got all kinds of leaves on it. Yeah, I got a, I'm getting a new chair for my 70th birthday. And it's going to be one of these big lazy boys, and I got it extra wide. So in the event that I have to quiet a kid down, I can sit down there, put my arm around their waist, and lock them into position. And then I'll just start rocking it. It's a good thing I got ADHD, because I can do that easily. Rock the living hell out of them until they pass out. The big issue we got with them is their dogs. Will they jump up on there? Most likely. Will they pee on the side of it? Most likely. I don't know. I don't know. What I should do is fill up and take the mower down uh, in the down the wood road there, but nah, I'm done. I'm done for this ball. Six hundred and two <coughs> subscribers now. That's good. We're 
398 to go to the first level. And I think I've had this channel since, oh, freaking 10 years is coming up here next year. When we first looked at the property, I made a video of uh, driving down the wood road. And as soon as my son comes back, I don't know where he's got it, but we'll grab the chainsaw and go down and start working on a uh, cedar tree. I just want one and I'll leave him alone. And all I want him asking him for to do now is finish cleaning up the wood that he cut out. And I did two big loads for him today. Plus, when we were up there uh, by the mailbox, I must have hauled pan out of there for him. Well, that's uh, just the way it is. I can hear a plane going over it. It's starting to cloud up. But it's beautiful out. Yesterday I swept myself to death. Oh, here comes the neighbor, I think. Easy, easy, really, really, really. No. Might be the neighbor. The guy lives across the street from me here. The guy to the right at the camp down there. He's got a white pickup. They sell a lot of Ford trucks here. If you're going to see a truck here, most likely it's going to be a Ford. And I wouldn't complain over getting a Ford now, being that I don't have one. Now, let's see if we can figure out what's wrong with this damn shoe. Weird. See here. Those are nice shoes. Wind River. They are. There, I don't get to be careful. I'll trip over my laces now. But they're good, pretty good shoes. The only part I don't like about is tying them up. But that's okay. Now all we got. Oh. oh excuse me. Now all we got left to do is go up and get that. Uh, rope that's hanging in the tree for the dogs. My wife likes to take one up with her when she goes to the garden. Alright. Well, that's enough John for now, I guess. So me and uh, the old Santa Claus Kizmo there for the snow wit and the witch which will be taken down next. Wish you guys a happy day. And a happy evening. And a happy, happy good morning and afternoon. Yada. Bye-bye now. Take care.